you know, as a House member and a senator, I was on the ballot. I went to polling places to talk to voters, but uh, never really was in a position to watch the process carefully, uh, the workers, uh, the constituencies that are putting time and effort into the organization of the election. The reason that we're part of an international election observation, in some cases, is to help provide credibility to the results. So when we are part of the observation, it tells voters in any particular country that a world organization has looked and made sure that it lives up to the standards that the government has put out there. Teams uh, from IRI go out to different regions on the day of their elections and we try to move ourselves into the community and observe the process of the elections. Our presence here is to ensure overall uh, a, a sort of independent eye in, in trying to determine whether the election is uh, credible, uh, whether there's transparency to the process, um, and offering opinion on that, including a series of recommendations at, at the end of election day. And that's really what observation is about. It's not just about election day. It, it's about the legislation needed to enact the law, how people respond to it, uh, whether or not people are given an opportunity to speak their voice, to campaign in an open and transparent way. Uh, of course, the election day activities, everything from opening to closing the polls and, and doing the count, uh, and making sure that that process is transparent, uh, that it's viewed as, as fair and strong and legitimate, because ultimately that's what drives people's confidence in their government. We're involved in election observation when we've been asked to come in. So we're invited in as an organization that has but a single mission to advance democracy and liberty around the world. We're invited in to help our friends in their own journey. We don't walk ahead of them, we walk at their side. And so what we do is to try to provide observations based upon our experience, uh, lessons that we've learned along the way, share those lessons, and then they can draw from those lessons to help their own path, their own journey. So when you see people, what they, what they do in order to cast their vote and express their voice, that's uplifting. It reminds me that this does matter, that it is important, and Americans should very, feel very good about the work that we're doing.